Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel and another Saturday session. I hope you're all well. Uh, for this week we're going to talk about the senses and how you actually can't trust them as much as you think. We've all heard flat earthers say trust your senses. Well I don't think you should because sometimes your brain lies to you. Not because it's broken but because it's trying to help you. It cuts corners and fills in gaps and makes assumptions and most of the time that's fine but when you're trying to figure out something massive like the shape of the earth and its place in the solar system then these shortcuts often fail. So today I'm going to show you five things that prove how easily your senses can be tricked. Now these aren't theoretical, you'll see them for yourself and once you do you'll never trust your brain in the same way again. And we're going to start with something I've looked at before on this channel, the McGurk effect. This illusion literally changes what you hear based on what you see. Now watch this following clip closely. The audio will stay the same, but watch the mouth movements of the man. Ba, 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 ba. You probably heard da, 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 right? But the audio was actually ba. Bar, bar. Your brain blended the visual clue of the ga with the sound bar and came up with da. It invented something that wasn't even there. This is one of the clearest examples of cross sensory manipulation. And it's not a glitch, it's just how your brain is wired. Ba, 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 ba. Now let's move on to your own body. You'd think your own limbs would be trustworthy, right? Nope. Check this out here. In the rubber hand illusion, a fake hand is placed on a table in front of someone while their real hand is hidden. The two are stroked simultaneously and watch what happens. The brain starts to adopt the rubber hand as part of the body. People genuinely flinch when it's hit. The sense of ownership over your own body is shockingly easy to fake. So again, if your brain can't reliably tell what's part of you, how can it tell you the shape of the planet you're standing on? Which one is this? Ah! <laughs> okay, moving on then to the next one, and this is the blind spot test. So let's try this one together. You've got a literal hole in your vision right now, and you've never noticed it. Close your left eye and stare at the plus sign on this image. Slowly move your head forwards or backwards. Eventually the dot will disappear. That is your blind spot. But notice what your brain does. It doesn't show you a black hole. It fills in the background like nothing's missing. It's not showing you what's there. It's showing you what it thinks should be there. And of course it does this automatically without asking. Right, let's move on to the next one. Number four, motion after effect. Have you ever stared at a flowing waterfall and then looked at the rocks beside it and thought they were moving? That's not your imagination. That's the motion after effect. Have a look at this demo. Stare at the waterfall, then look at the still rocks. Your brain overcompensates. After staring at downward motion, it falsely perceives upward motion in static objects. Again, this is not a malfunction. It's a built-in feature that's just wrong sometimes. Okay, the last one is an audio illusion which breaks people's brains sometimes. It's called the shepherd tone. Listen to this. Now that sounds like it's rising forever, right? but it's not. It loops in a way to trick your auditory system into hearing an endless climb. No matter how well trained your ears are, you can't hear the truth here. Your brain is simply outgunned.
So let's recap. Your brain changes what you hear, adopts fake body parts, fills in holes in your vision, creates motion that doesn't exist, and hears sounds that are impossible. And it does all this automatically. Flat earthers say, I trust my eyes, but your eyes are just sensors. And your brain, it's a storyteller. It's telling you a version of reality that's usually good enough to survive the woods, but totally useless when you're trying to measure a planet. That's why we use science, instruments, models, things that don't care about your gut feelings or visual shortcuts, because the truth is way bigger than what you can see and more interesting. As the great Richard P. Feynman once said, the first principle is not to fool yourself and you are the easiest person to fool. Thanks so much for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you do, please do subscribe and I'll see you next time for another Saturday session. Bye-bye.